My wife and I moved from Chicago just over a year ago now. I was fortunate to have great parents um, raise us in the church, in a non-denominational Christian church growing up. Got very involved in the youth ministry, youth group, and all that great stuff. So uh, became a Christian early on, actually at a, a youth event that my cousin Jackie and uh, her at that time, I believe, boyfriend, now they've been married 15 years now. Um, the moment where I saw an arena full of people lifting their arms to the Lord and it was just, the, the spirit was present and it was like, this is real. And so I think that was the moment I really committed to being a Christian and following the Lord. Um, of course, a lot of hiccups along the way. And I think that we have a way to sort of wander and not live every single day uh, for the Lord. And I found myself in really good opportunities in the work I was doing and working for a, a guy out in uh, Western Illinois. And uh, he had a big financial practice and he kind of brought me in as the junior. And, and it was just this rose colored glasses of, oh, look at all this opportunity, like one day, that's gonna be me, right? One day I'm gonna have all that. It, it was something where I always wanted to do well financially. I always wanted to have business success in that way. And that's what I was chasing. I was making a great income and it was paying our bills and I was saving for retirement. You know, I'm like, I'm trying to get the best head start that I could possibly have. But uh, we had bought a house and uh, had a basement flood twice, uh, had, just, you know, a lot of a lot of things come up that was unexpected. You know, the second day we bought the house, we moved in. It was the coldest day of the year in Chicago. It was negative 20 with wind chill. It was during that uh, polar vortex, I think they called it. And then our furnace uh, went out the second day. So it's like, welcome to homeownership. Here's $5,000 that you weren't planning on. I, again, I remember just struggling and, and internally and then talking to my wife and saying, what, like, Lord, what is happening? Like, why, why one thing after the next? Because it really felt like a snowball. Um, never actually had been to Sarasota and we found a place available for rent. And we said, my wife found me and said, call these people, I gotta, gotta find the place. So well, we called them up and turned out they were uh, the in-laws of Shea Vossler. So we got the place, um, we rented it, which is awesome. And because of the connection with Shea, we decided to come to 360. So that was sort of our introduction to the church. Uh, we came here, loved it. And I met uh, David Lazeski on my first uh, day here. He was a greeter that day, just welcoming people. And he told me about the men's group uh, the 212 group, we work out every other Saturday and you know do the study with uh, one of the connect groups. So he got me involved there. And then little did I know, just a matter of weeks into it, uh, struck up a great relationship with David, who uh, is now my discipleship partner. So I uh, have had such a blessed experience uh, getting to know David. I was very inspired by his testimony and his story on uh, you know, walking away from the lifestyle he was in and turning to the Lord. And, you know, he walked away from uh, the LGBT lifestyle. Uh, and that immediately was like, wow, that's such a difficult thing to do. And, and I was just impressed with his story. But beyond that, um, he walked away from a lot of business, wealth, money. And, and that just struck a chord in my heart. Um, a guy who seemingly had everything the world could offer. And once he, you know, was pursuing Christ, he basically had to put a lot of it away uh, and wanted to and willingly laid that down. And so I know the Lord was um, timing that perfectly because man, when you just let the walls come down, you can look back at these moments of the Lord and say, thank you, because there's not a chance I would have ever thought we found the townhouse to rent and from that made a connection to 360 that we would have been able to purchase the townhome praise the lord after a year time and find a place to, to land on our feet here in florida or that i would have met my disciple maker david and that he happened to walk through things in his own life and walk with the lord 
that spoke to me in such a substantial and impactful way to where it felt like his story was just speaking directly to me. I was like, this David's story is for many people. It's for everyone to see the glory of God and what he's done. But in that moment, I felt like this is for me. Like the Lord is talking directly at me on look at this person's life and all that I've walked him through. And now watch me do the same for you. Incredible.